What up, fish tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you from Imperial Tropicals in just one of their many cichlid rooms. What we got here, Mike? What's peacock? What we got? This is the red shoulder peacock. Red shoulder peacock? Yeah, uh, Lake Malawi fish. This is in the Alanacara family. This is one of the first peacocks that were brought out of the lake. Uh, these are just a really spectacular looking specimen. Lots of blue on it. They call it red shoulder for obvious reasons. It's got a lot of red on the shoulder of the fish, but it also has some red throughout the body. But the males are spectacular. This is red shoulder peacock. Yeah, the peacocks are uh, one of the hottest fish um, in the marketplace. People love them. They the colors are popping. They look like saltwater fish. The colors are so bright. Yeah. So you know these are some of the most popular fish that we breed. Yeah, those bad boys. All right, these are the red dragon blood strain of peacock. These are um, Melonic car species. This is a man-made strain that was lime bred to have these colors. It's, so um, they're not found in nature like this? They're not found in nature like that. This is strictly a man-made fish. And it's, you know, one of the most colorful peacocks sure. uh, that we've seen. And yeah, these are like stressed out. These aren't even like happy, you know? No, uh, these just came out. They're not, they're not, Completely colored up, but like there's a nice red nail right there. That's the color that everybody wants. It throws also a pink, like this is a more of a reddish pink, but amazing fish. I think for people that have a show tank for African fish, this is one of the most um, sought after. You know, this and probably the OB peacocks. What's the difference in the uh, colors? So you just have uh, different grades of, uh, you know, red orange, pink, and this particular line of fish that we have, we got from uh, uh, D. Koshi, who breeds fish, uh, you know, uh, at his house, and he's done a really good job, you know, bringing in good fish to breed, so I ended up getting these from him, and, you know, he's, uh, he's a phenomenal breeder, he's done a good job working with the line, so every generation we try to improve on the color, so we'll pull out the stunners for males to breed, and that's what we'll use for our future stock. So each generation, you know, we get better and better, you know, um, percentage of really nice colors, you know. So, What's this little tank behind me for here? So we're going to, um, I have a few females in there holding, so I'll show Good. people, you know, how they um, hold the eggs in their mouth and um, how we strip the, um, the fry out. So this is uh, this is the female, and you can see she's got a little bit of orange on her body. But what? Hold her up a little bit. Yeah, you can tell she's um, holding just from her um, gill plates being pushed out. Okay. But um, you can see um, in her mouth, you can see all the babies coming oh, out. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. Wow. So what do you do? Do you guys do that and then raise the babies separate? Yeah. Or so this this like, is a size that we uh, we like to. Uh, have the babies at. We let the parents raise them. Uh, we do sometimes get them as a egg, but the parents do a better job than we do at raising fry. So would you let this, like, if you had this fish and you see it's holding, what do you do? Like, let it stay with the parents and move to a separate tank, or what do you do? No, we let them, um, after we pull the babies out, we take them to a, uh, one of the ponds, and that's how we grow oh, them. Oh, just throw them up in the pond. Yeah, so like, um, I can grow this fish up to a three inch size in ideal conditions in about four months. What we got, Mr. Doherty? Yeah, this is the Yellow Blaze Lithobates, also from Lake Malawi. These um, could go good with peacocks and haps, hapricomus. This is actually a hapricomus species. They call it the Yellow Blaze for obvious reasons. It's got just a nice, bright yellow streak across its head. It's um, one of the most popular fish that we have. I mean, um, this is a top, top fish for us. It's not overly aggressive. That's what people like about the, you know, the peacocks and haps is they're not, uh, they are, you know, semi-aggressive, but they're not like the uh, masonite type aggressive. So uh, these, these are tanks that uh, people set up and, you know, they have a show tank with show metal. These are, these yeah, are yeah, yeah. show pieces that people think. You know. Mike, what we got here, bro? Hi, right, this is the Eureka Red Peacock. These are uh, some of the males that we have. The big one in there is our uh, adult breeding male, which 
Uh, he's not for sale. He's not for sale. But the juveniles are, and they're they're nice. I mean, that's like the three inch size that we uh, we offer. And this is, you know, to me, I mean, one of the nicest peacocks. You know, it's got a nice yellow blaze on the top fin, a lot of uh, red in the body, blue. It's just uh, a really nice fish. And these are um, the ones that can go together with other peacocks in half. So the aggression level is, you know, I would say um, in the mid range, not high. Imperial Tropicals is my home away from home. So you all said you wanted more special. Well, here's a little special action for you cichlid people. I talked Imperial Tropicals into giving you 10 species. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 species of fish. Buy one, get one free. African cichlids. Click the link below for details. Yep. 10 species of fish, buy one, get one free. Use the promo code Dustin, save 5% on top of that as well. Ends tomorrow at midnight. Ends May 25th at midnight. Buy one, get one free. 10 species of African cichlids on imperialtropicals.com. Everybody have a fabulous freaking week. Tank on. Later.